What's up guys, welcome back to Jovester Trades. My name is Joseph and in today's video, I'll be going over two stocks that you should be buying right now as it is setting up for a great swing trade. The first stock is Qualcomm, ticker symbol QCOM, and the next stock is Stitch Fix, ticker symbol SFIX. I'll take you guys through the charts and show you exactly how to play these two stocks. If you go on to enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more trading content. Also, if you want to be a part of a trading community with over 1600 members, make sure to check out the Discord channel in the description down below. So now that I have QCOM pulled up on the chart, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm looking at and why I think this can be a great swing trade. I'm going to cover my entry, my stop loss, and my profit taking areas for this stock. So first things first, I'm going to hop over to the daily time frame and I'm going to show you guys Right now, QCOM actually gapped down after reporting earnings. And right now it fell quite a bit to about 147. And over the course of the year, QCOM has been in a nice uptrend. So I do like to play these pullbacks that it has in order to make some money. So right now I'm gonna draw out the trend line that QCOM is forming. And then after that, I'm gonna hop down to the four hour and show you guys how I plan on entering into this stock. So one thing I do like to do as I'm entering into a swing trade is that I like to scale into my positions. I don't like to buy in heavy as the stock can fall a little bit lower before going back up. So right now I may buy one call option for this stock and if it falls a little bit further, then I'll start to add even more. An attractive area for QCOM is right here around this 143, 140 range. If it can fall to this spot right here, I'll definitely start loading up on this stock. And then for stop loss, you should keep your stop loss underneath this support area it's formed, which is about 136, 137-ish. And then for profit taking areas, I would start locking profits on QCOM right around 160. And the next spot I would lock my last few contracts is around all time high, which is about $167. So if you do plan on scaling into this position, as I said before, you should log partials as it starts to rise. And I do think QCOM can definitely reach back its all time high within the next month. So this is a very nice swing trade. And I'll hop over to Robinhood and show you guys the calls that I am looking at. Right here we have QCOM. And if we go to trade options, the expiration that I'm looking at is March 12th. This is a month out and it gives us plenty of time for QCOM to retest its all time high. And the strike that I'm going for is the 155 strike for about $400. The Delta is 35 and the Theta is only about $10. The Delta shows you how much money you make for every dollar QCOM goes up. So if QCOM went to $148, I would make $35 per contract. And then the next stock I wanted to show you guys was Cifix. What I see on Cifix is that it's respecting its 100 SMA. And right here, this is the 100 moving average, simple moving average line. And it's bounced from this line right around here and also popped off from the line early on right there. And if we zoom in a little bit further, you can see that the RSI was nearly oversold and the MACD is starting to curl up showing that the momentum is shifting to the buyers. So do I think now is a buy on Cifix? I do think so, because if we draw this temporary downward trend that it was forming, QCOM has broke out of it, and I can see this definitely reaching back to its all-time highs, definitely reaching around $100. So the stop loss that I'm gonna set for this stock will be under the moving average, and if I get stopped out on this play and Cifix reverse back in the upward trend, I will buy back into this stock. And then the areas you wanna to look to take profits are around $93 and then maybe even potentially riding the rest to $108. I really like this setup. As I said before, the momentum is shifting to the buyers and I can see Cifix running next week for sure. And then for Robinhood, I'm gonna go over to the contract and show you guys what I'm looking for. If we go over to trade options, the expiration I like for Cifix is February 19th. I think this thing can run next week. So I'm gonna pick a, a closer expiration than QCOM 
and the strike I'm going for is the 90 strike. Right now it's, it's about $284. I actually hopped in this earlier today when it was around 180 and we can see that the delta is 33 and the theta is 17. So I don't think this is a bad play at all. The stock looks very, very attractive as well as QCOM and I think these two swings can do very well. As you guys can see from the charts, both of these stocks look very attractive and I wanna know if you guys will be playing these as well in the comment section down below. If you learned anything from this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss when I upload. See you in the next one.